Okay, I just wanted to show you here's 127. So this is, you know, 127 goes for a long way somewhere. I'll put it here. Anyway, it's a big highway, so there's two lanes each way. Here's the property on the right here with the white fence. So this is really quite one of the nicest properties we've had in a very long time. It's called the Flying Arrow Farm. Looking at uh, about 98 acres. Let's see if I can get this on. There you go. Activate code. <laughs> oh my God, it's late. It's late, I've had a long day. So it's got all kinds of stuff, like so much stuff I can't even list it all. I've got the I've got the list here, and I'm gonna just go through it as best I, as best I can for you. This is a full saddlebred operation. You could easily do uh, thoroughbreds. You could do hunter jumpers. There's some woods in the back. There's trails everywhere. Everything you see done here has been done in the last year or two. There's nothing older than two years here. Yeah, under underground electric, you see this uh, pad transformer here. Can you imagine what this looks like in the summertime? This is truly the ugliest time of the year. So if you think this is pretty, you're gonna love living here when it's green. Let's see if I can get the horses to come over. Come on. And then this barn just looks like a barn, but I've got a surprise for you. So we're gonna go in there. There's the horse barn in the back. There's a hoop barn. We're gonna focus on this one first. Let's drive around. I'm just gonna drive around first. This is totally the ugliest time of the year, completely, positively. So you got some big doors there. And these are all steel buildings. These are not wooden buildings. Then you've got some, you got some no climb there. You got some more no climb. There is almost 22 miles of fencing. And it's all in the spreadsheet so we can verify everything. This is a big pedestal here for an RV. So if you have guests come in, it's, it's the real deal. Got a hot tub. Yeah, lots of toys. All right, let's go in. I just wanted to show you all around there. There's another pad transformer. So there's one there. There's one right there. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff to talk about. I'm gonna do the best I can. When you're in the real estate business, you're kind of in the building business and kind of in the land subdivision developing build business and in the, the legal, real estate legal business because you're dealing with this stuff all the time. So I'm not a builder, but I know that a steel barn is better than a wooden barn. I'm not an electrician, but I can tell you this is done right. Of course, everything's been done so recently, everything is to code but you can just see that everything's been done properly. Like they put this track up here instead of just uh, screwing the, the meter pan to the, to, the, um, to the building. This building is all insulated. Let's turn the lights on. You will recognize um, a lot of stuff. Someone who's looking at a $2 million property like this is going to recognize the quality of a lot of things. They're also going to recognize like the insulation, uh, overhead door openers, one heck of a compressor there. Let's see what we got here for power. That's a 200 amp service. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, uh, the RV outside, the pad, the 50, there's a 50 amp pad. 
There's also a 30 amp RV out there as well outside. You get the idea. There's all kinds of stuff going on. I hope they don't shoot me. Somebody's living in that motorhome. I wish I knew the specs on the floor, but it's obviously uh, strong enough to, to hold this guy here. Um, this is set up for, you could do hired hand. You could actually, uh, the seller has uh, other properties. So when he's in town, he stays here. Why wouldn't you? This is what I want. I don't know about you, but how cool is that? You don't see that every day. Rotax engine. So what I notice here is there's OSB against against here. So you're not going to have any uh, of that insulation torn. That happens. You know, I see it all the time. The insulation gets torn because you put stuff up. And then also you can, you can put brackets up and things like that. I hope that doggy doesn't tear that motorhome up. So anyway, again, he stays here. So... Uh, when he's in town. These are infrared heaters here. And LED lights. Don't shoot. There you go. And this is heated in here. Nice bath. That poor dog, he's going to have an aneurysm. So could you live here? Heck yeah. I mean, he's got a bougie eat out. Card table. How fun is this? And it's warm in here. I got a jacket on because I came in from outside, but got it all worked out here. Nice overhead door there. And it's all like new. This is really getting me barn envy. Not the workout room. If you've ever seen me, I don't have workout envy. But you're all set up for like a full-on full on apartment here. I'll tell you, those little LED lights, there's a ton of light in here. And those little lights are just tiny. Okay, so this is the big barn. Well, it's not the big barn. The big barn's the horse barn. But and that's got 30 stalls. But this is the, the ag barn. There's nothing in there that looks like ag. But anyway, it's the ag barn. So it's 60 by 100. I'm just reading off the cheat sheet here. 60 by 100, all insulated, all steel, six inch concrete. There you go. Uh, infrared heaters, heavy power, 50 amp RV pad over there and 50 amp RV service. There's also a 30 amp RV service and I would imagine it's from the same it's on the same pad. That's what I'm going to imagine. There's septic hookups there are uh, two roll up doors one in the front, one in the back and then two rolling doors 11 by 12 full bath, you saw that now it had the uh, laundry tub but then next to the shower there was a stub up for the sink so I'll, I'll put that here I'll give, show you a picture of that. Um, the exterior RV pad has a septic hookup as well. All right, seven paddocks, seven run-in sheds, 22 miles of fencing, electric uh, with no climb wire. There's a 30 by 100 hoop building. Let's go take a look at this. Those infrared heaters are pretty amazing. Uh, we've got a couple of those in uh, one of our buildings, and they work really good. That no climb fence is more expensive than like blackboard fence or whiteboard fence. It's just what every farm person wants. I'm sorry, what every horse person wants. This is like a, a two day shoot, this place. It's just got a lot of stuff. There's another pad transformer right, right there. I like to count the pad transformers they got. Well, that's a big deal. Got all that power underground. That's nice. Seven run-in sheds. Oh, that is a the waterer there. All set. I'm used to seeing the insulated 
uh, one. So those are insulated a different way, I guess. Little horse water fountain. Solar for the electric fence. And then here's the Mac Daddy 30 stall barn. It's probably like a two hour shoot just by itself. Here's this hoop barn. There's another pad transformer. This, this hoop barn is 30 by 100. Let's see what they got in there. There you go. Hay and whatnot. Here's the back end of the barn here, the back side. And there's where all the woods are where all the trails are. I'll show that to you later. And you'll see it in the aerials. They've got a couple great Pyrenees running around. Those dogs are hilarious. There's a big gas tank. That's a, I believe that's a 500 gallon gas tank above ground. There's a pad for something. I have no idea what, but that's all poured for the, um, for the bedding. Now this is a cool dealio because this barn is all galvanized steel. It says so right there. And, but it really is, look at this. It's all galvanized. So it's like engineered, right? Or it's not like engineered, it is engineered. If my kids say that, I holler at them. But it's all engineered and it's all galvanized. So no maintenance, no, uh, no bugs, no nothing. I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks heavy duty as well. Here again, check out this power. That's Schedule 80 coming up, but that's like four inch Schedule 80. That's pretty crazy. It's on KU right there, Kentucky Utilities. That's the uh, cheapest. And KU is probably, I don't wanna claim country or state, but it's probably the lowest um, industrial power in, in the state. Let's check this out. It smells like a horse barn, and that smells awesome. Let's see what we got here. Office. Well, this is all heated inside. And there's a heat and air unit. Feels good in here. Full bath. Oh yeah. Privacy shade here. So you can look, see what's going on, or you can kind of do business here. You don't have to worry about the horses looking at you. And that's epoxy on the floor. So that'll be there for a very long time. You know, it kind of looks like a bowling ball a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that great? Okay, We've got a full kitchen here. Let me check this out. That is a full kitchen and tack room. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? All the tack you ever want and all the cabinets you ever want. And you gotta have a mascot, right? Are you the mascot? This is all spray foamed up here. Now, uh, Ken's got in here that it's a uh, full circle ride with a 52 by 52 arena. Let's go take the, take a look at that. This is a wash, wash stall here, I would assume. Floor drain. These are insulated panels. And I don't know what the construction is. If I've got a cutaway of this, I'll show it to you. 
I'll put it here so you can see what's going on. You may already know what it looks like, but I've never seen it before. So this door opens, check it out. This door opens, slides over, and then this door slides over, and then you've got a uh, full circle ride. 52 by 52 arena on each side. Even the bedding is nice. I mean, this is like nicer than than my uh, mulch at home. Hey, baby. There's Gemstone. He gets one green, two hay. Thyro, Thyro ill. Yeah, look at this wash stall. Perfect for the doggies too. Look at that. Climb right up in there. Get washed down. And then of course you can wash the the uh, the horses with that crinkle crinkle hose. How you doing there? <laughs> you wanna go with me? Nah. Uh, that's pretty funny. Hey, baby. How you doing? You good? Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, why the long face? That's all I got. You can tell this barn's just a year or too old. I mean, it's, it looks like brand new. It smells fantastic, of course. And hi there. Are you quite spirited? You look like you are a handful. I wouldn't want to jump on you bareback. laundry here for saddle blankets again epoxy on the floor fantastic water heater this is uh this opens up so you can bring everybody in you can also bring your skid steer loader in and, and do your um, bedding so it's horse feed on the outside and brings it right on in with a touch of a button. Yeah. <laughs> keeps the keeps the the uh the phone steady. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Rusty sent me here to take some pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. The barn? Yeah, the barn. Gosh, yep. I wish I'd known that when it like, swept up. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> How are these stalls to clean? Really easy? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are they... Because um, they got mats in so they They got mats? Yeah, they're matted. Oh, excellent. That makes it easy. Yeah, and they don't come up either. Really? I mean, you know, you, you seal them. Oh, so really? Okay. Yeah, the first sometimes you put mats in them. So if they get an edge up, they'll get, it's almost harder to clean them, you know. Yeah. Yeah, then you're cleaning the top and the bottom. And <laughs> yeah, you have to pull back and clean under it. Right. Stays nice and warm in here. Yeah, those these heaters are excellent. Radiant, radiant, the heat objects, not the air. Really? So it keeps it warm. It doesn't dry the air out. Excellent. And I see it's insulated, foam insulation. Yeah, it's very foam. Now, what are the panels? Are they thick or thin or insulated or? It's a, a metal. I'm not sure what this metal made. <laughs> this color, I think, is probably 
Uh -huh. Okay. Like pressed plywood. Okay. The thick, the thickness of, you know, pretty thick. Okay. And so you, you got metal and then plywood and then more metal. Yeah. You can see they kicked and it holds up pretty good because they've tested it. Really? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see that or not back there. Everything's new, so everything rolls easy. This is the other side. A true horse operation. <laughs> Look at this. Even comes with the little doggies. I doubt that. I'd say you might negotiate any kind of equipment with Ken, but you're probably not going to negotiate them little pups. Hey, something I wanted to show you. These kittens are everywhere. It's good to have cats when you got a barn, right? This is the lab. I want to show this to you. Everything's got a floor drain. Everything. Here's syringes and medicine and all kinds of stuff. And then all their documentation. Everything. I mean, this is just a setup. It's ready to go. Come on, dog uh, doggies. Come on, out. Come. You're gonna be locked in there. Come on. Did you ever hear the thing? Curiosity killed the cat. Come on, let's go. Come on, you gotta get out of there. There you go. I don't want you stuck in there. Get, get, get. Little rascal. Something I wanted to share with you that Ken shared with me, but I, I can't find it exactly, and the owner's not in town. But you see this water heater up here? It heats the water for the whole barn, obviously. But it's got a special manifold, and I don't know how you get to it. But what it does is it shuts off each stall individually or each section of stalls. So if you need to work on it, the whole section of horses don't go without. I thought that was a cool thing. He thought that was a good point to point out, but I don't know exactly where it is and they're not here. So anyway, it's got, it's, I'm sure it's got to do with something in here. In the kitchen. Well, I don't see it here either. Uh, let's take a look here. Aha, there we go. There you go. So that's right. So each one, yep, B4, B3. So it's all broken out so that you can shut off one side or the other. I'm, I'm sorry. So you don't have to shut off a whole side. You can shut off each individual stalls, I guess. Or maybe a section of stall for my next trick. Good thing I'm on my way around a barn. Look at those little doggies. How you doing there, little doggies? Hey, baby. Look at this. This All these doors, I was wondering how this worked here with these sliders. And they just, just slide just as slick as a ribbon. So that in the, in the summertime, when you need ventilation, it just opens up. And then you've got the outside, inside for the horses. How you doing, bud? There you go. This is a real horse operation. I'm just gonna go through a couple of the things, a couple of the items here. This first barn over here is 100 by 60. This metal building, which Ken called the Ag Building. You can call it whatever you want when you buy it. I would call it like the apartment building. It's crazy. So 6,000 square feet, insulated, six inch concrete, infrared heated, heavy power, 
full drain or drive or something like that. But it definitely is a drive through. You drive right through it. There's an RV pad. It has a 50 amp power service. And then there's also a 30 amp power service to the same place. Septic hookups. The owner says it's all in a spreadsheet and he paid for every foot of it. So I believe him. <laughs> it says 22 miles. I believe him. It's electric and no climb wire. There's seven paddocks, seven run-in sheds. We talked about that. 100 by 300 hoop building, horse barn, 30 stalls. Each stall is 12 by 12. It's all galvanized steel. There's two folding stalls with movable walls, with movable walls. There's a wash bay. We saw that. Full kitchen. Tack room. Infrared heaters there. It heats the subjects and not the air. So I thought that was pretty cool. And there's several of them. Wherever there's a penetration in the roof here, you see one, two, three, one, two. And then there's probably three on that side. That's where those heaters are. That's pretty cool. There's a fly spray system, the two arenas, the 52 by 52 arenas on each side with sprinklers. So that keeps the dust down. It's got a full laundry, a feed room, and a building site up on the hill. That's about all I know. If you're interested in such a property, just give Ken a call. The number's right here. If this isn't right for you and you're just looking, that's great too. Tell us what you do want and we will find it. That's our specialty. You tell us what you want and we'll go out there and we'll scour the countryside. Really, no kidding. I mean, we're not above it. We're not too good to knock on doors. Hey, you got a beautiful place. Ever thought of selling? So we'll do that for you. So you don't have to. <laughs> so I'll save you a lot of time. Just get on our home finder. It's right there. I'm going to put a copy of the plat here as well. Thank you so much for watching. It is almost five o'clock and you know what that means here in Kentucky. It's time for a glass of bourbon. Did you know that my grill won't light unless I've got a glass of bourbon? Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna make like a baby and head on out. I'm gonna make like horse poop and hit the dusty trail. I'm gonna make like a tree and leave. That's all I got. I'm done. Hope that doggy doesn't tear that motorhome out. Turn. Hello, don't shoot. Full bath.
and it's heated. Don't shoot. Hmm. How that? There you go. All right, one more time. All right, that'll be in the blooper reel. I can I can assure you. Uh, don't shoot. What's in here? Hey, there it worked that time. <laughs> ah, inside joke. All right, we're going to try this one more time. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.